I know what you're trying to do. I'm trying to free your mind, Neo. But I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. I, the psychiatrist diagnosed me with antisocial personality disorder. That's what psychopaths have, right? Now, um, I didn't at the time know what that was. I knew that my uh, report said antisocial personality disorder. Didn't know what that was for years until I looked it up. If my child died, I would want to cry my eyes out. Um, I don't think I would. Sociopaths don't form normal emotional attachments to other people. They lack empathy. When they see a person suffering, they don't feel bad over it. Um, but sociopaths don't form normal emotional attachments to other people. They don't have normal emotional attachments to other people. They feel no remorse. They can do anything. And things that would make other people feel bad, we can do them and they, we just don't feel bad. And so uh, they don't have remorse when they do something horrible. They don't feel bad about it. Um, they, don't, uh, uh, they, don't feel, they don't feel bad when people die and things like that. So, but if you're growing up, you don't know that you have a problem. Hey, what's up? I'm here with... Sam Simone and Vocab Malone. We're about to head into Mel's Diner from the show. Want to see how similar the inside is to what was on the show. I was in New York once. I saw the Seinfeld Diner. Went in there. It was totally different because they only used exterior shots. The inside was uh, uh, on the show. was recorded in a studio. Anyway, we were going to spend this weekend recording videos, but plans might change. So we're going to Go in here, get some food, get as much work done as we can today because I might need to head out early. Uh, this morning, um, saw a text from my wife. She said, you need to call me. It's about your mom. As soon as she said it was about my mom, I had a pretty good idea of what it was, what it was about. So I called her back and she told me that my mom was found uh, dead at the Ronald McDonald House in, uh, in Morgantown, West Virginia. The Ronald McDonald House is right beside uh, Ruby Memorial Hospital. Um, they give a room to people who are um, taking care of a family member at the hospital. So, um, yeah, mom was there taking care of my brother Manny, whose heart, liver, and kidneys uh, shut down a little while back because he got a bad dose of ecstasy. Uh, we were all concerned about my mom taking care of, care of him there in Morgantown because she was uh, doing well with us. My mom is a recovering heroin addict, so uh, we we're worried about her um, going back there. She was doing really well with us uh, away from her previous environment, um, but going back and being in the same area, we were hoping that, hey, since she's spending all day in the hospital with Manny, uh, she would understand that she would better not be going back and uh, doing anything in her room but she died of a heroin overdose. Now think about that. She was in the hospital every day seeing what this had done to her son and she was still able to go back and shoot up with heroin. Uh, guys, this stuff has a, an ability to completely overwhelm your rationality, to completely overpower your rationality. 
And so, yep, mom's dead now. Um, we have to figure out the situation with Manny. And yeah, so that's how things are going here. Um, people ask me, David, why do you post this stuff? Uh, kind of two reasons. One, I know that uh, a lot of you out there know a lot about my family. A lot of you are friends with uh, my wife on Facebook. So um, I know basically as soon as my wife starts posting stuff or other family members start posting stuff, I'm going to get a lot of questions, people asking me about what's going on. So uh, I'm not shy. I'm happy to go ahead and, and post anything that's going on um, in my life or, or with my family. So that's part of it. Uh, the other part is um, we want our lives to have meaning and uh, people generally do uh, have uh, lives of, of, that, that impact others. Um, it's good if our deaths have meaning as well. No, the, the, you know, people die of old age and stuff like that, but especially when lives are cut short, um, it's good if those have some sort of meaning. And obviously if someone dies of a heroin overdose, that, that death didn't, doesn't have a lot of meaning anymore for that person. But I know that you know, 50,000 or 75,000 people are going to watch this video. And most of you are, you know, just going to post a nice comment. Uh, some of you will post a nasty comment. Um, most lives aren't going to change by this video, but if someday one person, after watching this video and seeing what drugs do to a family, if one person decides not to stick a needle in his arm or a needle in her arm, um, I'm glad my family could help. And so you just think about this uh, situation because uh, when I posted the video about my brother Manny uh, being in the hospital and I was talking about, you know, what drugs do to people, uh, there were lots of people commenting saying, you know, drugs aren't the problem. It's, you know, the misuse of drugs and um, it's people not knowing how to use them with moderation. And that, that's the real problem. The, the problem here is <clears throat> you don't know which category of drug user you're going to end up in, right? You don't know when you start out if you're going to be someone who can handle it or someone who can't handle it, right? Like I have an uncle. I have an uncle who smokes weed five hours a day, but he's high functioning. He wakes up early in the morning. He goes to his job. He works his job all day. He comes home and he smokes and then he smokes weed on his porch for five hours. Um, so he's able to live, uh, li live a normal life while doing drugs. But you don't know you're going to be able to do that when you get started. No one starts out by saying, hey, I want to be a crackhead, or I want to be a meth head, or I want to be a crack whore, or I want to be a heroin addict, or I want to OD, or I want to be in a coma, or I want to die. People don't start off by saying that. Um, you don't just take a big step from normal life to crackhead or coma. It's a series of little steps. It's a series of small decisions. So we don't destroy our lives usually with one big step. We destroy our lives with a series of small steps. So watch out for those small steps. Watch out for the small steps. They seem so simple, so innocent, and yet they will take you someplace you do not want to go. All right, I'm going to go have an omelet because life continues and it's good to be alive. We were uh, we were a couple minutes late. We decided to set up another light because um, it was too dark in here. So, how is everyone doing? I see we already got uh, some terrible jokes going. Like what? Uh, how does Moses make tea? Hey, he brews. He brews. Yeah, that, yeah, that's coffee. That's why I'm saying I know that. I know that. What about this? Right. How do you know? I'm just trying to see because I can't see. How do I know what? The Joseph played tennis. He served in Pharaoh's court. Oh. 
da, 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 da. Did you hear that Jesus had a car but would never talk about it? Why? He would not speak on his own accord. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey guys, who's coming up with these uh, jokes, man? I should write a joke. For There's a, there, there was another accord joke the uh, about them being like the, the first car mentioned oh, was yeah. the disciples. They were all in one accord or something like that. All right, guys. So, do we want to? One thing you should address. What? 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 You don't know, like people want to talk about the, what? the new the video you posted today. I think first. Well, yeah, I already they're... posted the news. What do What do they want to What do they want to talk about? You don't want to say nothing. What? Oh, about the about my mom. Yeah, I You're mean, it seems it, yeah. Like my mom yeah. died. What do you What do you guys want to know? They're just she died. Our condolences. Heroin overdose. Saying. Yes, I thank everyone for the. Um, the condolences, um, mainly right now, concerned about my brothers. I know what you're trying to do. I'm trying to free your mind, Neo. But I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. 